Brooklyn is that one Oscar contender that is not getting nearly enough recognition that it deserves. And it centers around the story of Sarsha Ronan's character, who is this young Irish woman who is going on to Brooklyn in order to receive a better life. But she's leaving behind her mom and her sister. So narratively wise, it's not the most complicated thing, but emotionally... This is one of those movies where this character isn't necessarily going to, you know, complete this mission or a specific goal. We're just following her in this coming-of-age tale as she goes to another country. And it does such a phenomenal job of engaging you from the beginning all the way to the end. So, let's get into the good, the bad, and all the reasons why you should have Brooklyn on your radar. And for starters, one of the best parts of the movie is obviously Sarsha Ronan's main character and where we've seen her in the Grand Budapest Hotel way back in the day in Atonement. And the thing about this role is that I would say it is one of her best, specifically because in interview she talks about how it's the one role where she can relate to the most. I thought that would have been Hannah because she was like a secret agent or something, but no, it's actually this one because she has gone through a similar experience and you can see see it in the way she portrays this character and the way that it's directed and the way that it's written it being an adaptation really puts you into her shoes and you yourself feel like an Irish woman who's coming to America for the first time. You then see the things that she's facing and you almost become very parental over her and you're like, okay, don't hang out with that person. And the movie makes you feel like you can actually have a say and okay, now that person's okay to hang out with. Well, don't do that. Don't do this. And it just goes to show how well the directing was in this movie because it's moving from all of these different places. And again, it's just following her life and anything that she's doing at that moment, but you're engaged with it. You see these characters who may not even be supportive but they're like supporting supporting from the beginning you have this baker lady who you only see five minutes of her but you do not forget who that character is and you get the gist of her character she comes to america and she is in this like boarding type house with this one lady who runs it on you're like okay i kind of like that lady you even have felicity smoke from arrow playing one of the girls who is staying there in that house and you get the gist of what each character is without it pounding you over your head and going yeah this is the person who's sassy so everything she says is going to be overly sassy no it's not like that you then get introduced to the character of emery cohen and where that's where it starts combining into this you know immigrant story, a coming of age story, but more of a romance. And I would say one of the best romances in a long time, because if you know Emery Cohen, he was in Place Beyond the Pines. He played the ghetto kid that was Bradley Cooper's son. I still like the actor regardless of that being a pretty bad role because here, the dude is such a gentleman. He, They both create this love story that just has you rooting for them. Obviously in the beginning, like I said, you're going, do we trust this kid? I don't know yet, but as the movie allows the relationship to develop and the way that the actors go about it, you really fall in love with their love story. And the thing is, is that the movie gives them so much space and it respects them and where you as an audience, and especially in a lot of movies, you can look at the decisions that a character is making and go, that's that's not the right decision. I know what the right decision is. It's so clear. Just do it and stop making those dumb decisions. No, no, no. In this movie, you do know what the right decisions when those come about are but the movie is able to put you in her shoes and you go i know what the right thing is but i can kind of feel why it's so difficult for her to make that decision and that is masterclass filmmaking and why i think this is one of the best directed movies of the year one of the best adapted screenplays of the year and also one of the best female performances of the year as well and why i would say by the end credits i would give this movie worth watching in theaters at the combo price. Now, as you can see, I didn't even mention any negatives in the movie because I don't feel there were many, but some of the little ones that were here and there would be, there's a character that comes uh, while in and it's a actor who you may know, so you automatically add characteristics to him, but if they would have developed him a little bit more, it would have made a decision that needs to be made a little bit more impacting. Uh, some of the other things I guess would be, you just want to know what else happens to this character. You know, you want to see how some of the relationships that she leaves behind end up developing or what ends up happening to her here. But again, that's not even a negative. That, that's actually a good thing because it gets you really invested in the movie. However, as always, I'm curious your thoughts about the movie. If you were able to check it out, definitely let me know your comments down below. If you didn't know about the movie or you weren't sure about it, I'm telling you, definitely go watch it. It is one of the best directed movies of the year acting, adaptive screenplay, like I said, and is definitely one to have on your radar. Other than that, don't forget, you don't want your kids to be a Yankees fan, so comment, like, and subscribe. Continue to watch movies, and until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later.